act. Mm. That same act, it says five. Mm. Mm. Section 27 yeah. tells the activities foreign investors are not supposed to be engaged in. Mm. Ha. So they say that the sales of goods or provision of what services in the market. Mm. Mm. That's petty trading. You're not supposed to be engaged in petty trading, to petty trading, selling of one, 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 one things. Maybe phone. Pew, Charlie. I they sell phone. Oh, how much? Oh, this one, 20 naira. Like that. No, that's petty, petty trading. Selling so small, 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 small on the tabletop like that. They're not supposed to be engaged in. That's section 20, um, how do you call it? Um, 27 says that they are not in the market. People not really. I'm, I'm sorry, eh? mm -hmm. I'm coming here. Eh? Let me just ask you before okay. I continue. This petty petty business, mm -hmm. foreigner in Ghana, or oh, they don't really understand yes. what that petty petty the, the law of mm -hmm. that petty business means. And I just want you to break it okay. in detail. Good. The way the people can really understand what that petty petty, petty business petty. means. When you say petty petty means small, 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 small. Like, example, uh, okay. Mobile phone, maybe one or two. We're selling mobile phone one, two. We have people. Maybe an example now, I'm a Nigerian. In Nigerian. Now, and I'm in Ghana. Yes. I know support to be selling go mobile phone. No, no, and no. sell one phone. Or two. Or on a table about on ten. On the table like no, ten. No, 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 no. I know support to sell you are not pure, sure. even pure water no. on the road. I stand on the roadside. Yes. I say I'm in Nigeria, not in Ghana. The production of pure water company, you are not supposed to do that. In Ghana. Yes. I'm not supposed to do it no, no, as no. a foreigner. Yeah. Okay, now, what you think? Uh, okay, give us more story behind it. Uh -huh. mm. So, good day, my people. My name is Master Manager Nigerian News, and today we are back again with interesting topic and um, what is really going on in Ghana between Nigerians and Ghanaians. This, the last, and stay with us as we are going into the news. I hope you enjoyed today today video. I hope you enjoyed it because it's very very interesting. And today I'm here with Teacher Frank Yeboah. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Now we are here together to bring you interesting news, Nigerian news, <laughs> Ghana news, and yes, African yes. news, yeah. and what is really happening in Ghana right now as I'm talking to you. And Tisha is here to lead us, to tell us more about what is really happening. Because uh, uh, last month, I hope you were this month. Yeah, this uh, month. Something is going on between uh, uh, Nigeria, one Nigerian woman, some people say the woman was a, a nurse or a doctor, and some people say the woman is a also a market woman in Ghana. And uh, the woman doing something that some people are saying if the thing is right or it's not right. And Tisha is here to tell us if what the woman did is right or it's not right. I hope you know what is really, what is really going on in Ghana right yeah. now. Yeah. And what do you think about what is your opinion? So on the... actually, what happened on May first at trade fair, mm. where the Nigerians organized that trade mm. fair at the trade fair center. Yeah. And then so as a Makola women went there and then what they could disturb them. It's like that. Mm. Yeah. You cannot write with wrong. Yeah, you cannot write what's wrong. Why? What I mean is that when someone is doing a bad thing, you cannot also do bad thing to correct the person. Okay, you now leaders, just well, uh -huh. listen. We have leaders. Mm -hmm. We have trade ministers or minister. We have um, people who are in charge of businesses. We have president, vice president, leaders in the country. We have law enforcement agents and agencies country. in the country. Who are the Makola women? But I'm, I'm coming here. But those people saying that uh, mm -hmm. those women see that the mm -hmm. government and the law enforcement in the country, they are not taking any actions. Mm -hmm. they, they see those people like they are corrupt. And that is the reason why they are taking the law in their hand. I don't know if... Master Manager, said to you. if, assuming someone stole something and the person is running away, and policeman saw the person run away. And then you two, you pick up a stick and hit the person. And the person died. Mm -hmm. Have you committed a crime? And he committed normally. But in Africa, you know, in a situation we are in Africa now, mm -hmm. you know already. Mm -hmm. But he committed a crime, but normally it's not advised for yeah. people to do that. But 
uh, those women that are going there, they are thinking about their daily bread. And they see that the woman is taking advantage for their children. And they know that the government will not do anything about it. I'm still on that thing. I hope you get it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that person that they are shouting at, hey, thief, thief, thief. Mm. It may happen that that person may not be a thief. Yes, it happened like that. I said, nobody can say that someone is a criminal until the law has done it. Mm. That is why we, we don't do what we call mob action. Mm. When you see somebody, hey, thief, 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 then you take a stick. Bah, bah, bah. Maybe it may be a wrong person. Yeah. It's the police who will come in, take the person to police station, they write a statement, and then process him to court. And when they go there, he has the right to take a lawyer. Mm. Mm. He has the right to take a lawyer, and then the lawyer will defend him. If he proven to be right, fine. If, he, if he's guilty, then you put behind bars. Okay. So, yes, what the women did, I am not... In fact, I'm condemning it. Why do you con what do, why do you see that yes. you are condemning it and what is really, yes. what is your opinion towards they what the women need did? to channel to the leaders we have we have we have um Buta, eh? we have uh business leaders and then i mean we have law enforcement agent agents or agencies the police the military, the fire service, the one they are all there. So at least they should have reported the issue to any of these but agents and agencies. I'm yes. sorry, but do you do you notice that do you be aware that those people have not reported to the, those people, they're not taking any actions? Have we heard it? Hmm? We didn't hear are, it. Are you aware that maybe those people already go? <laughs> They don't go meet the leader, try mm -hmm. to express themselves to the leader, telling them this is what is going on, and maybe the leader no really care. Because you know we are in Africa where mm -hmm. corruption is taking over everywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. they go after the leader. Maybe mm -hmm. the leader, they see that the leader are not taking any actions. So, Master Manager, yes, sir. if you report a case at the police station, and then the police people are maybe not doing anything, Will you take the law into your own hand? No, this case is different. There's mm -hmm. not a, a different. This, mm -hmm. this case right now mm -hmm. is a different case. I hope you're getting it. Mm -hmm. This case that we are facing right now mm -hmm. is that they, they see the. Because if it's between Ghanaian and Ghanaian, mm -hmm. there'll be the way to solve it, right? Mm -hmm. But this one is like foreigner and Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. And the, those women know that. Mm -hmm. There is law in the country, which is they know that they know their rights, mm -hmm. but they see that the leader, the leader are not take action on that position, like that uh, that mm -hmm. the position, what the leader is supposed to do. Yes. Okay, you know the law of the country, right? Yes. But if you check other side, mm -hmm. what the woman did mm -hmm. as a foreigner, you and like now, I know I'm a foreigner. I know I'm supposed to pay tax. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But you, as a foreigner, mm -hmm. you don't know that there is government, mm -hmm. there is all police, there is everybody before you go and commit the crime. The woman, just in this case, mm -hmm. the women were selling, no, they too, they said, they, the Makola people said, they were, what do you call it, they, they were selling it at a cheaper price. Okay. That is the issue. Mm -hmm. You see, they were selling it at a cheaper price. And so, therefore, they would, uh, what do you call it, spoil their market. Have you seen it? You see that? Uh -huh. yes. So that is the issue. That is, that is why I'm saying that. You need to channel it to the right direction. Okay. I'm sorry. Eh? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Ask me. Okay, now, mm -hmm. you as a Ghanaian, yeah. me, I'm in Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this way an example. Mm -hmm. If I'm in, me, I'm in Nigeria, yeah. and I'm selling something, everybody, maybe an example now, all of us, we are selling something mm -hmm. in Nigeria. No, mm -hmm. we are selling something, mm -hmm. and this question I'm coming to answer you also to you too. Yeah. You also need to look it and answer mm -hmm. me yeah. now. In example, I'm in Nigeria, and I'm in Nigeria. You, you are a Ghanaian, you come to Nigeria, and there's something we are selling. The thing supposed to be one one CD, yeah, 
one one city yeah and you for all the way from ghana mm -hmm. you come to nigeria yeah you started say that thing maybe 50 percent 50 percent what are what action do you expect me to take as that as, yes you, are you what action do you think i will take yes so there's a law there's a law yeah, i believe in a law so you, you report to me but too. before me before mm -hmm. you come started you don't know that there is a law that is why i say when someone wrong Mm. You cannot write with wrong. Okay, now. That is it. Okay, now. <laughs> okay, tell us what is the opinion okay. and what a foreigner is supposed to do Good. when they come to Ghana. What is your own okay. uh, suggestion or what do you think and what is the right? Because people it. want to know the right. That is it. We, we are a foreigner in Ghana. We that don't is. know the right way. What to want to, to, to drive us? That is it. That is it. We are listening to the, your own opinion. What do you think Good. that is so, teaching everyone? Like I've been saying, mm. I don't support this issue of the engaging in the petty trading okay at all i don't support because it is a law me i am a law abiding person yeah. that's why always i want it to be law 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 now there is a law called ghana investment promotion center act hmm. 2013 Act 865. It says if a foreigner wants to engage in any enterprise or any business, that person should have at least one million dollars. Or equivalent to yeah, equivalent to goods. Mm -hmm. It could be goods which is um uh, which will be valued one million dollars or cash. And will be able to what employ 20 people. 20 people. 20 people. That is what the law says. In Ghana. In Ghana. Okay. In Ghana. That is what the law says. Okay, let me ask one thing. <clears throat> ask. Oh, do you believe, according to you now, mm -hmm. what the law says, do you believe that mm -hmm. in the market? Yeah. Are the foreigners employing 20 people, mm -hmm. 20 Ghanaians in their shop? Even that it did not say that selling oh, I'll, I'll come to that oh okay and i'll come to okay. that i don't want to go okay. selling at the market and everything has its own eh? uh, that okay. we will talk about okay uh, but if you want to be a business person or an entrepreneur you should have at least one million dollars or equivalent to a good um, or goods uh, okay. and you'll be able to employ 20 people at least at least not even in the market. I'm not come to the market. You're not coming there. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, what is the law behind the marketing? Like maybe an example mm -hmm. when you go to Seku, mm -hmm. go to everywhere around everywhere there is market around Ghana. Good. And because uh, uh, and like now when you go in that market, there's mm -hmm. a law behind it. Uh, but in all those petty petty markets mm -hmm. in Ghana, mm -hmm. all what is the law behind? Good. It? So that same act. That same act, it says five, mm. section 27, yeah, tells the activities foreign investors are not supposed to be engaged in. Mm. Ha. So, they say that the sales of goods or provision of what services in the market mm, that's petty trading, you're not supposed to be engaged in petty trading to a petty trading selling of one, 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 one things, maybe phone. Charlie, I'm gonna I said phone oh, how much? Oh, this one 20 naira and like that. No, that's petty petty trading. So it's small, 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 small on the tabletop like that. They're not supposed to be engaged in. That's section 20. Um how do you call it? Um 27 says that they are not in the market. People not really I'm I'm sorry, mm -hmm. eh? I'm coming here. Eh? Let me just answer before okay. I continue. This petty petty business mm -hmm. people foreigner in ghana or they don't really understand yes what that petty pet the, the law of mm. that petty bigness me and i just want you to break it okay in detail good the way the people can really understand what that petty petty, petty business petty. Mean. when the petty petty means small 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 like example i'll say mobile phone maybe one or two we're selling mobile phone one two we have people maybe an example now i'm a nigerian now nigerian and i'm in ghana yes i know support to be to selling mobile phone roadside no, no, and no. sell one phone or two or on a table about on 10. the table like no, 10. No, 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 i'm not supposed to sell you are not pure, so... even pure water no. on the road i stand on the roadside no. as i mean i'm in nigeria in ghana the production of pure water company you are not supposed to do that in ghana yes 
are not supposed to do it no, no, as a no. foreigner. Yeah. Okay, now, what you think? Uh, okay, give us more story behind it. Uh -huh. mm. So that says what? That law says even uh, what do you call it? Um, selling of goods in stores. Hmm. In stores. Like. Like. Um, like the shops when you go to Madina, we have small, 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 small shops. Small shop, yes. yes. That they sell one or two things from a mobile phone. Most mostly um, Nigerians they deal with what for mobile phone accessories. Yes. What the law says is that when if you have a money that can that you can invest in the business and that money is equivalent to maybe um twenty one million dollars, you should be importing or producing more. And come and give it to the Ghanaians. You are in this case, you are going to be a distributor mm. or a producer. Mm. Either a, a, a distributor or a producer. Then you give it to the retailers. retailers. So you are not supposed to be selling things one by one. I'm going to want to buy a, a phone cover. Then take up one CD, 20 Ghana. I'm going to want to buy a phone case. Then like that. I want to buy a battery. Then you buy. These are the petty, 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 petty trading, which is foreigner not supposed to even oh, attend. Charges and one wine, they are not supposed to do it, selling it, pen drive, one one pen one, drive. One one, open a, own a shop. Foreigner if you to want do to it. do that, you have to invest, what do you call it? import it plenty. You bring it, come and give it to the Ghanaians, then they sell. Hmm. That is what you're supposed to be doing. Hmm. Or you have a very big store that people are coming in to come and buy in Morg, and you have employed about 20 or more people. Hmm. That is what the law says, section 27. It says that. Uh, people want to know the section again. Yeah, that is uh, section 27. That is um, the Investment Promotion Center Act 2013, Act 865, section Ghana 27. Law. Ghana law. Okay, now, now, let's see. What do you think now in all this law now mm -hmm. that Ghana has? And we still and foreigners still fighting, still mm -hmm. dragging, they are fighting for their right mm -hmm. for all those. Do you think that they are right? Ooh. In in the, how can you fight for your right when you are at fault? You see, if you are at fault, that is not a right. A right is something that belongs to you naturally. Hmm. Something that belongs to you naturally, backed by law. In this case, when the law was. Um, what do you call it? Uh, being amendment amended or um, legalized? Mm. Where were they? Mm. Maybe for all you know, those people but they didn't even come here through a genuine way. Mm. You see, you have people who are Nigerian, but now they have they are married and they've been registered as married, married, and then they are Ghanaians. Mm. If you want to do that, fine, do it. Then you'll be. Um, be, uh, what do you call it? Be recognized as what a Ghanaian. Ghanaians. You see, so that is not a right. That is not a right. The, it's the rather the indigenous right. So, so they, that is it. So what the women went there to do, they were demanding their rights, right. but they did it in the wrong way. Way. I am not in support of what they did, and then I am not in support of what those ladies over there to did. You know me, I can't hear and can't hear. Yes. I always want to know the right from the wrong. And I can't wrong with right. Okay, now, I'm sorry. Eh? Yeah. But right now, when you go to a market, the market, the mm -hmm. Medina market, you know, yeah. all market in Medina, mm -hmm. Seco, everywhere in Accra, yeah, or every, let's say all over Ghana. Yeah. Now, what is the law rating a normal small, small shop for foreigner? What law behind? I just want to know the law that behind renting is most most important. Do you know something? Even let let me pack this one. Some I will come. Do you know the operating taxi business is not allowed in this says, uh, section twenty seven. Section one. Twenty seven. Operating taxi taxi yeah, business. Foreign like ah, you cannot do taxi. How oh, foreigner cannot do taxi? Yes, taxi business or down for driver trotro. You cannot do it here. You cannot do it here. And also, you cannot print a scratch card. Mm? You cannot print a scratch card here. No, Printing no, no. Is like... a scratch card and also printing of exercise books. All these have been given into what? The indigents. Exercise books, 
on and other stationaries mm. Mm, exercise books and other stationaries you know exercise books and uh, they, if you're a foreigner you're not supposed to be engaged in like what they do it at a uh, new town mm. when you go there you see, see people printing exercise books like that a foreigner you're not supposed to do you're that supposed to do it yeah you're not supposed to do that and you're not supposed to um selling pure water and so and so forth so this is it, 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 it's, it's there, which is uh, the lowest thing that you're not supposed to do. Pure water. Pure water. If, if you can't do pure water, that makes you to understand that yeah. you cannot do anything. Exactly. If you come on pure water, oh. if you can't say come on pure water, yeah. that means that yes. you cannot do anything. Yes, involve petty trading. Petty trading. You they cannot sell, do anything. They, they sales, um to sell in the market. Mm. If you are not supposed to be having tables and standing by and selling mm -hmm. in the market at all. The law frowns over that. Now, what of the people that are doing mm -hmm. it? What happened? It's an offense. It's an Ghana it's, offense. That is it. Now, if they catch that people, what do you think is going to happen? If you committed a crime or offense, like an example, now are those people are selling where it's not according to the law of Ghana. Yes. And those people, mm -hmm. they're not supposed to attending things like that. Yeah. Now, if migration go there and arrest those people, good. is the migration right or they are not right? Yeah, it's good. They are right. It is their job to go there. Maybe they did not pass through the right channel. Hmm. Maybe some pass through Lungulungu to enter. You have permits. You have this. President Permit, after that one, you know, because of because you don't normally, yeah, but yes. at least you need to, you ah. need to be at the right destiny, right, ah, right channel. Yes, you need to pass through that and check your passport and everything. Mm. Are you supposed to be stay in Ghana? So and so, you check all this resident permit and everything. You need to mm -hmm. go through the right channel. Don't go and pass through Lungulungu. No good. No good. Yeah. So they they have to do that. So anything involving uh, expatriates, um, foreigners, you, you, the best place for you to go is to go to immigration office. Yes. They know all the foreigners. They know the majority of them because most of them go to them their passport and everything they go to them so they know them so if you want to do anything involving a foreigner that is where you're supposed to go and also um of foreign affairs and then also the um the person's embassy mm, the person's embassy you go there if it is nigeria high commission you go to nigeria Com high commission uh, if it is um togo you go to togo blah 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 so that mm. you will get the um right information about the person if and only if the person came to ghana mm. lawfully yes uh -huh. and we're asking something those stores if uh, you are, if you were a foreigner and you have yes, a store I was asking sorry uh -huh. I was asking like all uh, mean they like what law behind yeah. the foreigner that's selling in not most small shop mm -hmm. in ghana what law behind are there any law uh, yes okay and what is the law the, the foreigners selling this one is the same that uh, uh, acts uh 865 mm -hmm. that's the investment promotion center act they want to promote our business Mm. So anything that will depromote, let me use that word, mm. will not let us promote the law France over it. Any activity, any uh, behavior that will not let Guinean's investment be promoted, mm. the law France over that. The law France over that. And that is all we have hammered on since last time till today hmm. there's the second part of what we're doing hmm. yes and, and because we are promoting our business yes we are promoting our businesses so any activities any behavior anything that will be an obstacle hmm. that will not let Guineans promote their activities that and that thing is a hindrance or that thing we see it as an obstacle hmm. or it's something that we don't like it. Hmm. 
You see, because to promote something and a person is <laughs> retrograde, yeah. bringing it back. Bringing it back. Uh -huh. So that is it. So if, for instance, I'm a Guinean and I rent a store to a foreigner to be doing petty trading, the law against you. Against me. The law is against me. So there's law. And the law is also for the foreigners who. Mm. That is only if you have that kind of money. Mm. You can do business. So, yes, like you said, it, the law too is for the, how do you call it? The foreigners. Foreigners. Yes. The law too, yes. If you have a business, a, a, a capital mm. worth $1 million, you start your business. ahead. Start your business. Mm. But by all means, when you start your business, you employ people. And those people that you employ, majority of them will be Guineans. Mm. Majority of them will be Guineans. So that is it. So, like I was saying, even pure water, you cannot sell sachet water. Eh? That is, um, sachet 40 also says something. They say, anybody who gives out stores mm. to foreigners has committed an offense. Mm. So, that act 865 the investment promotion center act 865 section 40 says mm. anybody that give that out. give out a store to a foreigner to a foreigner to do petty Big trading bojo bojo like in akan bojo bojo and petty petty mm. business that person too is at fault because uh, people know really some people know they understand yes but that petty petty business so. yes that's why I'm trying to make you to understand that. Put it in the way those people small, understand. Small, small, small business. Selling small, small, small things. Charger, phone battery, yes. uh, mobile phone, one, one. Uh, anything, any business. Akala. Akala. You know, Akala. Koko, Koko. Uh, 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 Waichi. Waichi, Gobe. Uh -huh. Anything at all. Indomin. Like, Indomin. Indomin. Flying Indomin. Uh, Indomin. Uh -huh. Low west. Low west. Low west. Low west. Wow. of pure water. Pure water. Foreigners not supposed to do it. Yes, foreigners are supposed to be selling bread in the traffic. No, you can see that. Yes, oh. okay. now, now, when you see that yes. Ghanaians are complaining, mm -hmm. mean they are helping. Oh, yeah. They like because they are law already bringing all those things. Yes. Understand? Mm -hmm. And they know the law. Yeah. But they just want yeah, unite together. So now, who is controlling the peace now? In this case, now, who is helping? Oh, now, 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 the Ghanaians are helping. The Ghanaians. You see, sometimes, I will say this and someone will talk no, no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, we see Nigerians as our twin brothers. Yeah. Or twin brother. Huh. We see, Ghana see Nigerians as a twin brother. Sometimes, so when you're doing something, we look at it twice. Mm. But when it is getting worse, then they act. You see, huh. sometimes I don't fault them when they act. Because when it becomes too much, yeah. you know, by all means, what? Act. They, they, there's this um, adage is it, um, there is a limit to a human resistance. There's a limit to a human resistance. To our resistance, it may, maybe in um, applied science, talking about electricity, something, something. Mm. To resist maybe current flow. Uh, so, but this one, we are uh, referring the resistance to our heart. Yes. So when something becomes too much on you to bear, you sometimes explode. Mm. If you don't put on your thinking cap, you yes. do things haphazardly. Mm. Haphazardly. Yes, so that is it. So, um, <clears throat> the law is hard. It's hard. Mm. Very complicated. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, very complicated. And we need to, we need to understand. We need to understand. We need to understand it very well. Yes. We need to understand it very well. When they are doing it more, it's like when you have your food. Someone come and take it. One, the person eats it. Another person come and take it. He eats it. Ah, another person, come, another person, you will be annoying. Yes. But if it is one or two people, 
you will be okay. Mm. Ha. So if the foreigners are becoming more now, when you go to Malina, when you go to Seco, they are there everywhere, everywhere, mm. everywhere, everywhere. They are there. That is why Guineans are also doing that. It's like they are taking over. And let me say something. You know, one thing about Nigerians is that a Nigerian man doesn't care to sell something that he has bought it 20 Ghana to sell it 22 Ghana cities. Hmm. Yes. To get two cities, he doesn't care. Hmm. But Ghana man. Hmm. That 22 Ghana cities he has bought it. Or 20, 20 Ghana cities, he wants to sell it about 35 Ghana cities to get 15 cities. Hmm. That is why they said Nigerians are taking over. For them, they know how to do because they if he does it like that, you end up selling plenty. But you, you because you want more profit, you end up selling about two. Yes, I So understand. since I'm advising the Nigerians to do the right thing, Ghanaians too, we should do the right thing. We, we want too much profit. We want too much profit too. And, and, and something that you, you go to a store, ask something, they will tell you 20 cities, move to the next one, 25. Okay. The Let next ask, one, 30. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, Ghanaians want too much profit, can you? Yeah. Why there's no law about that? Oh, that's what that was. It'd, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be two <laughs> simple questions. Yes, yeah, there's no law. What the government, now, who are you going to blame? <laughs> no, no. Then what the Nigerians are doing is not right, right? Yes. Nigeria, what the Nigerians are doing <laughs> is not So far, there's no law yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. There's there no need to be blamed. Oh, oh, yeah, for that one. Because in the foreign country, mm -hmm. there's a law... Yeah. Everything, if you are buying one thing, mm. this one thing be one thing, this is the price. Yes, but in Ghana, there's no law. <laughs> okay, now if you as a Ghanaian, you yeah. know that what uh, your colleagues Ghanaians are doing, there's no law, it shouldn't be not like you are not maybe people may think that you are referring to there's no law embarking um trading. Mm. That is not what you are you mean. I know what you mean. Yes. you mean that there's no law market, it will cost something. Um, oh, how do you call it? Um, price control. Mm, yes. There's nothing like price control in Ghana. In Ghana, yes. There's nothing. Okay. And so when you go to Togo, there's price control. Yes. Almost all the francophone country, I know that of um, Togo, Benin, and then Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. There's price control. You go to this shop, the same thing. You go to this shop, this, but Ghana there is no price control. And sometimes your opponent will look at your weak side mm. and punch there. You know, when you're playing football, you know, this player is very weak. Oh, always the ball will pass that place. Yes. So that is the law you are. Yes, there's no. no. For me, we don't have any price control. To me, I don't know. If, if it is there, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I've never I, heard of it. But what I know, you see, mm -hmm. if Ghanaians are selling their thing, if they buy something for 20 Ghana and they are mm -hmm. selling it for 30 Ghana, mm -hmm. that is for them. Mm -hmm. And all of them, they are used to that. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So when you are in Nigeria and you come to their country, it's also picked that way. No, okay. Yes, it's no command because it, it, you are in their country. <laughs> you understand? If, okay, you want to tell me that if a Ghanaian do, do, uh, do Nigeria, Nigeria. go to Nigeria, go to do that, it, you think Nigeria will live on? No. They, they're not going to live there. No. They mean Ghanaians are peace. But do you know something? Yes. There's something they call marketing strategy. Mm. Marketing strategy. In my own country. <laughs> you are doing marketing strategy in my own country. Yeah, but you are doing business. No, it's not done. No, Market... I'm just giving an example. Yeah, yeah, you know. Now, if mm -hmm. Ghana go to Nigeria yeah. and Nigerians are selling something for mm -hmm. 1,000 Naira, an example, yeah. and Ghanaians come there, they sell them for uh, 500 Naira, do you think Ghana, Nigeria is going They will to... not be happy at all. They are going to leave there. No, so, no, no. But that means Ghana people are patient people. Oh, it's something. Yeah, yeah, let's just be honest. Oh, yeah, yeah. for that one, it's true. Yeah. Oh, have you understand? Oh, well, so, to me, the, yeah. what Nigerians are doing, me and me Nigerians, 100% yeah. condemning. Yeah. They are not, that thing where they are doing is not right. Yeah. Because Ghanaians cannot do that in Nigeria. Yeah. They can't. Okay, so true. then, what do you think about the government? Why there's no price control? That thing, hmm, I think, but when you go to um, Togo, I know that there's free ports. Mm. <laughs> and sometimes, free ports has something, a hand in this price control. And mostly, there's a lot to embark in, but... Mm. I have never. I will do a research. Yeah, we'll talk about yeah to it. talk about it. My brother, to be honest, I have never 
head of price control in the 80s that this man um former former president Jerry rollins he had wanted to bring that um price control, control price yeah this guy, uh, can you, uh, hang, when they come and you are selling things and then it's very expensive they ship you they sell it very cheap uh -huh. all right sir. but since then i have never Okay. But I'll do. I'll do a research. All right, all right. And uh, we just want to appreciate everybody because uh, the video is going so far. Okay. Right. So that you will not go like. Uh, and tomorrow, other tomorrow, other. And let's say another day, we are coming with the price Ghana price control. Yeah. That is what we are coming with next in the next video. I hope you you stay with us and and tell us what is your opinions and leave your opinions on the comment section. What you think? And uh, those people, uh, I see some people are leaving comments, uh, <laughs> trying to know what background are you. And, uh, Someone is said, what is my educational background? Yeah, what is your educational background? <laughs> but you tell, you tell them next time. Oh, I'll tell uh, you next time. Now. <laughs> uh, what you need now, yeah. leave your comment. Yes. Tell us yeah. uh, where yeah. teacher is wrong oh, sometimes and where teacher is right. And, I I like those comments. Those yes. comments will give me more edge to do more right. research. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you tell us where Tisha is wrong and mm. where Tisha is right, and Tisha will definitely tell you <laughs> <laughs> what is it. Right understand? <laughs> so, but don't be angry with us. And uh, please leave your comment behind. Mm. Tell us what because we don't know what you can say. Just leave your comment. Tell us what you think we should do next. Mm. But next next video we are coming with price control, Andrew, yeah. Ghana price control, <clears throat> right? Should be expecting it. Mm -hmm. As to this will go bless you. Please subscribe. Bro. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Master Manager Nigeria News, and Tisha will be with me. Understand? We're bringing hot, hot service, <laughs> hot program. Understand? Yeah, man. When you sit, you think will take you back, 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 back with something. Okay. Yeah. God bless everybody. My name is Master Manager Nigeria again, and I really appreciate you. I'm here with Teacher my... Frank Yeboa. God bless yeah, all of you. Sure. Just want to say. Bye-bye for now. Yeah. Thank you. Mm.